when the deadline for the Securities and Exchange Commission to appeal the ruling in the Ripple case from July 20, 2023 approaches on October 7, investors of XRP are closely monitoring the next step that the agency will take. The verdict was handed down in July 2023. July of 2023 was the month that the verdict was handed out. The verdict, which came to the conclusion that secondary sales of XRP, or not securities were not securities, was a huge victory for Ripple and the judicial system. In the not-too-distant future, there is a possibility that a change may take place, according to the warnings of some specialists. A divergence that Judge Torres established between institutional and programmatic sales of XRP has been met with resistance, with Judge Rakoff being the most noteworthy judge to dismiss it in another instance. But judge Torres's identification of this differentiation has been controversial. On the other hand, veterans of the Securities and Exchange Commission, such as Mark Fagel, say that holders of XRP should adopt a more neutral viewpoint. This is despite the fact that Ripple continues to view the verdict as a step in the right direction toward establishing legal certainty for the asset. According to the conclusion reached by the court, potential investors in XRP do not place their trust in Ripple when making decisions regarding their investments. The assertion was made by Mark Fagel, who had previously served as the regional director of the Securities and Exchange Commission. However, the tweet has now been withdrawn. The comment that Fagel made was in response to the fact that the tweet was taken down. As far as Fagel is concerned, the resolution of Ripple's legal concerns should not have a substantial effect on the way the community views the situation. As far as Fagel is concerned, this is his viewpoint. Ripple was not relied upon for the growth of the price of XRP. The amount of passion that was displayed by the community was something that he voiced his shock at. He stated that he was taken aback by the exceptional degree of enthusiasm that was expressed by the community. In accordance with this line of reasoning, he asserted that token holders ought to have a total lack of concern for the future of the Ripple cryptocurrency. The fact that the crypto area, which is an additional prominent voice in the community, has warning the community against relying on Ripple for the expansion of XRP is something that should be taken into consideration. Because the prolonged lawsuit frequently has an effect on the price of the digital asset, as well as the sentiment of the market, this stance is quite important for the XRP community. In light of this, this perspective is absolutely necessary. There are a lot of people who believe that the genuine value of XRP resides in its practical uses and the adoption of it by businesses, despite the fact that there is still a lot of ambiguity surrounding the regulatory element of cryptocurrencies. It is possible that these variables will not change, despite the fact that Ripple is now dealing with a number of legal constraints. Even though the deadline is getting closer, there is still a lack of clarity inside the Bitcoin market over whether or not the SEC would attempt to appeal the verdict. Additionally, the deadline is getting closer. The Securities and Exchange Commission is expected to make an effort to acquire further clarification regarding the contradictions in the procedure followed by the court, according to the thoughts of a few analysts. This is anticipated to be the case. Several persons, including Lisa Lipman, who once held the position of Chief of the Securities and Exchange Commission Division, believe that the agency might choose not to appeal, thus keeping the case from becoming more significant. On the other hand, a sizable number of legal experts, including Fagel, are of the opinion that the Securities and Exchange Commission will try to appeal the decision at the very last possible time. According to a famous cryptocurrency analyst who had forecasted the results, this analyst had expected the conclusion, and the XRP market is currently undertaking a significant journey, and it has the potential to reach heights of $1,650 to $2,900 by the end of the year 2024. I have no doubt that this will be a noteworthy accomplishment. Not only does this offer a subject that is nothing short of interesting, but it also marks a significant shift in the landscape that is now prevalent in the world of banking. In addition to being the financial powerhouse that was responsible for the creation of a Bitcoin exchange-traded fund, that was a hugely successful endeavor. BlackRock is currently applying its knowledge and technology to XRP. According to the excellent track record that BlackRock has established, almost all of the applications for exchange-traded funds that they have submitted in the past have been granted. Grayscale has entered the market by presenting the concept of an exchange-traded fund for XRP and by integrating XRP in its portfolio of cryptocurrencies. This is an extra point of interest that has been brought to light. This particular incident demonstrates that XRPs and Ripple Labs are having an increasingly substantial impact on the arena of international transactions. XRPs are cryptographic tokens that are used to verify transactions. BlackRock's position as the biggest asset manager in the world provides an almost perfect reputation when it comes to the approval of exchange-traded funds. This is what makes BlackRock's reputation so impressive. The fact that they have an approval record for exchange-traded funds that is almost absolutely faultless is a monument to their achievement and serves as evidence of their unparalleled ability to traverse the complexity of the financial industry. According to some accounts, a number of prominent financial firms, including as BlackRock and JP Morgan, have been said to have been actively accumulating small amounts of XRP. If this were to occur, it would be a signal that they had made a fundamental change in the way that they handle investments. One of the most recent developments in the saga of XRP is the creation of NXRPF, which is a product that is exchanged on exchanges and is used for performing transactions involving XRP. 
This is one of the most recent advances that has taken place. In spite of the fact that the identity of the person who established this exchange-traded fund is unknown, the fact that it exists is an essential step in the process of building an ETF. In spite of the fact that the XRPFPP has been made available to the public, it is still in the pre-release phase, which meant that its value remained at zero. On the other hand, a number of sources indicate that it is possible that it will be published at any moment in the near future. There have been reports circulating that an exchange-traded fund ETF for XRP will be established concurrently with the introduction of the exchange-traded fund. This would coincide with the debut of both the Exchange Traded Fund ETF and the Exchange Traded Plan ETP. It is a game changer because it demonstrates how close we are to witnessing a shift that may be comparable to or possibly transcend the movements that have been recorded with Bitcoin's Exchange Traded Fund. It is a game changer because it demonstrates how close we are to witnessing a shift that is a seismic shift as a result of BlackRock and JP Morgan's acquisition of XRP and their utilization of the XRP ledger in their business operations. There is evidence of institutional involvement in the cryptocurrency market. This is demonstrated by the fact that BlackRock and JP Morgan possess more than 7.5 million XRP, as indicated by research that was conducted not too long ago. Within this movement, BlackRock is at the vanguard of the pack. Due to the fact that they engage in both of these activities, this is demonstrated. Additionally, there is a possibility that the exchange-traded fund for XRP may be permitted to operate. Because of the relevance of an exchange-traded fund for XRP in terms of its value, we are unable to emphasize its importance. This is the reason why we have set our target price at $983,000. The presentation of a typical situation that includes high volume, high demand, and limited supply is shown, which logically indicates that the value of each XRP currency will continue to climb. Additionally, the XRP ledger is being leveraged by the Republic of Palaio in order to construct its digital currency, which will be issued by the central bank. Blockchain technology is aware of this practice. It is of the utmost importance to keep a good attitude and enthusiastically embrace the positivity that surrounds XRP. Leasing is an exciting concept that was brought up in XRP and institutions are also able to take into consideration leasing as a viable option. Despite the fact that some individuals may consider optimism over XRP to be nothing more than a daydream, leasing is an intriguing notion that was brought up in XRP. If only retail investors were to require XRP, the SWIFT system would experience a daily transaction volume that is greater than $1 trillion or even higher. In spite of the fact that this category encompasses international trade, the derivatives markets, market smart contracts, non-fungible tokens, and tokenized assets such as real estate are not included in this category either. It is necessary for the system to maintain a minimum of $3 trillion within it for the day in order for XRP to be able to manage merely $3 trillion of it on a daily foundation. Sustaining this minimal is an essential requirement. In the event that this scenario materializes, it is not out of the question that the value of XRP might dramatically increase to more than $150 per token. There is a realistic expectation that some of these links will make investments in the cryptocurrency given the current market conditions. Logical reasoning lends weight to this assertion. It is possible that prices will increase beyond $150, even if institutions decide to lease rather than buy once the system is operational. Leases are more expensive than purchases.